Hello hoppers, this is the grasshopper telling you about my trip from Coletta on the uh, coastline to Rio Seco and there was my healthy breakfast on that fateful day in early July 2021 and a lovely little quote from Albert Schweitzer on the uh, sugar packet, very healthy. Um, so I'm going along the Mediterranean coastline in Malaga towards Malaga city, towards the village of Torre. This is July. Look how quiet the coast is. You can't half tell this was a COVID year. Now, Coletta is actually a port and um, it has a lovely marina. You've got the pleasure boats, you've got the lovely yachts and you've got a, a club, a sailing club. But the port is the, is the center of this town and the most important uh, uh, main business there. Um, and you are getting regular fish brought in. There's, there's all the um, nets. I know chefs who go down to buy the, the, the fish from a farmer's market, don't say that too fast. And I took photos of the fish. I'm very embarrassed as a wilder to say I know nothing of sea life. So I can't tell you uh, the species of any of these. Perhaps you can tell me. Um, but I thought this one was really cool because it was wonderful camouflage against the seaweedy rocks. I thought that was rather, rather special to see that. Um, and this is on a jetty, uh, as, is, as is this. A little bit not the perfect graffiti, but there you go. As you're walking along the coastline, you're seeing and hearing monk parakeets everywhere. They're nesting in these great big palm trees. They have like large community nests. They are communal and they are actually technically an invasive species, but they're well established and it's hard not to love them because they're quite intelligent. They're incredibly noisy, but they're also very comic to watch. Um, maybe you won't love them if they're your next door neighbors. There you can see one of the jetties and on the jetties it's worth walking out on them apart from the unfortunate litter which you inevitably see here like this horrible can. You see rock pools, you see uh, sea anemones and limpets and little fish and um, oh here's a herring gull. Well I think it's a herring gull and funnily enough the herring gull saw me. Um, and it looks slightly ridiculous, especially when it turns to look directly at me or at my camera. Um, but I did get a better example. Uh, so you can ID your herring gulls by the little red dot on the end of their yellow bill. Um, beautifully posing there. Um, and this is an adult, full adult. Th this is probably the most common, but I do see a lot of Mediterranean gulls. The herring gull is pretty big and bulky and the Mediterranean gull looks very delicate. This is not a different species, this is the juvenile herring gull and that was almost all I saw that day. Um, and it's kind of fun to watch them, they are beautiful birds when they're flying, but unfortunately again, although most of this coastline is kept very clean, I hate plastic. There's invariably plastic litter somewhere, everywhere. The, the monk parakeets and the um, seagulls ignored each other completely as far as I could see, so no interactions whatsoever. Um, this bird can see me. They, they, you've got a long lens, but they've got good eyesight and they are very suspicious, even though they're very used to people. This bird seems to have got itself stuck, but don't worry, it did manage to fly off after a moment. There's a tiny, tiny fishing boat coming back in uh, late in the morning. Look at this, Limpieta Aguas, that is water cleaning services. It's good to see them out. Now, there's a nice view of the long coast. I'm walking towards the seaside town of Torre, but this is the kind of area I'm walking down. There's a long chunk of it. Um, it's only a short, this is only a very short walk because it was so darn hot. This shows you how quiet it was. And the these walkways in a normal summer are much busier. You get skaters and people, but you've got all these flowers, so you get the kinds of animals that are attracted by flowers, like this lovely butterfly. Um, it may be a bit controlled and contrived, but I still love to see plants, even if they're planted in. I like the way that the toilet blocks are decorated with these beautiful designs because it could, would be so ugly to have them otherwise. This is a long shot of Torre. I didn't walk all the way up. I did see this paraglider. I'd love to try paragliding. And Torre is very nice, but I just went up as far as this river. The Rio Seco is a dry river. Seco means dry. Uh, and to be honest, a lot of the little rivers that come down onto the coast are dry because so much of the water is taken for agriculture. This, all the buildings here, obviously right on the coast, very competitive prices, rather posh. 
This kind of, see, I, I, I love this tree. The ceiba tree is really wild, that bell-shaped trunk and the spikes on the trunk for defensive purposes. They're just incredible. This is a tree that believes it in armor. It really is quite impressive and, and they, you, they, they're planted in. This shocked me. This was news to me and I've been here a good long time. A homage to the victims of the 1937 genocide on the Malaga Almeria Road. As Franco forces came into Malaga, the population fled in the only direction they could along the Almeria Road and Franco had them shelled from the sea. I thought the attack in Guernica was the first uh, on a civilian um, um, uh, Dispora, um, but actually it was first from the air. That sad thing gone, I went back to the to the main road and did a loop, so I came back the other way. This is the Rio Seca from where you drive the road. You saw the cyclist photo, and um, uh, cycling is really popular. And this view looks towards the mountains. And there's fun stuff here. You see adverts for flamenco concerts and fancy houses. Um, there's buses that go all along the coast all the time. And here I am back in Coletta. And there's a lot here on the coast. Um, it's my main interest is the wildlife. This was a kestrel that that deigned to pause and show me its back. <laughs> um, but there, there's things like there's a lot of good restaurants. There's the chiringuitos, which are the little cafes on the coastline, usually serving very very fresh fish caught that day, or or shellfish is their main thing. Another toilet block, and these weird little uh, sports places where you're encouraged to do like a gym, free gym. It's a free gym. It's a free workout, which I kind of find sort of funny but it's good. This guy's been doing sport and caught his lunch and I'm just amazed that anyone <laughs> actually does that. Here's a, um, a shaded place for people to sit. You can see it's 2021. Um, it's a very Spanish photo of that and um, beautiful, beautiful yachts again. And somebody who'd been doing cycling in July, that is, he is a better man than I am. There's um, a view from the jetty of the coastline and this is a lovely jetty um, I didn't stay very long because I was getting a bit hungry but I uh, so I didn't see any more limpets or anything interesting but it's just such a beautiful thing that is the back of the port so you're seeing the, the build-up of the port and this lovely beach and this is the chiringuito that I actually chose to eat at with a friend who was coming down uh, she didn't join me for the walk um, they've got a barbecue so you can have have you know grilled fish straight off the barbecue there which is not uncommon very nice way to do it and there's some garden birds wherever you've got gardens you're going to get things like blackbirds and sparrows and, and all of those oh and a monk parakeet again so there you are in your restaurant and you're bumping into the sparrows and monk parakeets and beautiful day, very simple short walk, delicious lunch, which I shared with my friend. Absolutely fantastic. I hope you've liked this video. I hope you'll give it a thumbs up and maybe subscribe. Bye.